This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I got some information potentially about some villains that may not only appear in the Batman movie, the solo film, but also potentially in Suicide Squad 2. Now, um, I want to give a shout-out to one of my subscribers. Um, I'm not going to say their full name just in case if they don't want it. So I'll just say Sean B. gave me this information. Then I went online. I can only find one other site that talks about it, but it's comicbookmovies.com. So as of now, this is just a rumor, so I cannot confirm that. So keep that in mind. But if a rumor turns out to be true and you were able to get the book before anybody else got it, well, we know already with all these other movies, you will save a lot of money. So luckily, I already have the complete series of this. But the rumor is that they say that the Court of Owls, which can be found in the 2011 New 52 version of the Batman series. Let me show you the two books because it's a little confusing. I had to double check some things. And I tried to look on CGC and CBCS, but none of them were listed on eBay. But I did go on Wikipedia, and I found Issues 2 is the first cameo, and Issue 3 is the first full appearance. So let me show you some images to make it easier for you. Okay, so this is Issue number 2. This is by um, Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Um, there's also a variant version, and I think also a 1 in 200 variant. I know I have one of the variants. I'm not sure if I have the more rarer one. But it is like a black and white sketch version of it. Definitely hard to get. Going to be a little expensive, but if you can find a deal, pounce on it. And let me show you issue 3. Okay, and here is issue number 3. Uh, there is a 1 in 25 variant, and there is also a black and white version of this. Again, I think it's 1 in 200. Uh, those are going to cost you about $100 plus, but again, wait for deals. So as of now, these are rumors, so I cannot guarantee it. Remember, if you are taking the chance, there are risks involved. So do not spend the money if you are afraid it does not happen and uh, you're spending your rent money. So if you could find it cheap, take a chance. If not, just wait until you can find a deal. Go to your local comic book stores. Go to antique shops. Go to flea markets. Check on Craigslist. Go to yard sales. There's plenty of different ways. So hopefully this helps, and hopefully this turns out to be true. I found the New 52 series very interesting. I have the complete set, and uh, we'll see what happens. So if you appreciate it, thumbs up. Always show support. Um, don't forget to share it and wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out And if you want to have one you just have to be a subscriber and if you ask for one I'll put you on the list. Thanks for watching and don't forget. It's not you. It's not I it's we love comics